The Road Show Final Cuts continues now on Fox Providence. We're just moments away from naming a winner. What would it mean to get this gig for you? Yeah, it would mean everything. All I wanted to do was serve Rhode Island. Honestly, this is something I've dreamt about since I was eight. I couldn't even explain it. It's, it'll be the greatest thing for me. It's something I, I really want. I love entertaining people. Hello and welcome back to the Roadshow Final Cut. We are here live at the Nilo Hotel. Quite a swank place, I'm sure you guys would agree. This is in Warwick. And we are just moments away from eliminating three of our top five finalists for the Roadshow. They're all competing to be the co-host of this brand new lifestyle and entertainment show that will be airing right here on Fox Providence in January. You know, not too long ago, I got a chance to sit down with these guys and talk to them a little bit about the show, a little bit about their lives, and and a little bit about Dan White's love of cats. Hmm. Take a look at this. Girl with the American dream, the beauty queen, the indie expert, the DJ, and the native New Englander, also known as Speedo Steve. We like them all, so we figured we'd show you why, letting you get to know them through funny anecdotes and light conversation. Instead, Dan White decided to tell us this story. My father was a police officer, and when I was six years old, he, um, he took in a criminal who was abusing cats, uh, shaven and beaten, and we thought it was the best Christmas gift ever. This was a funny story, right, Dan? No, no, this is the true story. Oh, the true story. The true oh, true story. good. Okay. okay. Rest right. assured, it was a poignant story about Dan's love of cats, and it led to the discovery of Sean Tempesta's love of Dan. I actually really genuinely care. Stephen Schuler, inexplicably, has been left out in the cold. I'm not in on the bromance <laughs> or the cat man. Amy Diaz never had a cat or a pet at all, really. Well, there was a fish once, but apparently that relationship ended badly. He had a um, identity crisis. A fish suffering from an identity crisis. Yes. News yes. at 11. Yep. <laughs> Anna Ritas Rodriguez, it turns out, will not even stand to be in the same room as a cat. Well, she will, but the meeting will likely end badly. I had to cook dinner at my boyfriend's sister's house, and she had yeah. two cats. We'll spare you the details here, but the story ends with a stretcher, an ambulance, and a trip to the emergency room. So the bottom line, after this conversation with our finalists, it's safe to say we'll need to retitle any pet segment a job hazard. So I think you can see a little bit about why we fell in love with these five contestants. But in just a moment, we're going to take them from five down to just two as we select the co-host of the road show. But before we do that, you know, around uh, our studios in East Providence, there's been a lot of spackling, a lot of noise, a lot of jackhammering and banging. And it's not just me getting my makeup on. No. In fact, we are building a new set for the road show that is going to be totally interactive. We're going to have lots of segments for cooking and interviewing celebrities. It's going to run the gamut. And we want to give you a sneak peek of what our new studio is going to look like. Mike Montecalvo has more. The studio doesn't look like much now, but wait another few weeks. This room will be transformed into a brand new television studio with state-of-the-art equipment and a kitchen for live cooking. The birth of a brand new local TV show. Rhode Island has never seen anything like this. After months of planning, we're putting our construction crews to work on a brand new road show studio. Take a closer look. We're building a completely new set. Co-host Elizabeth Hopkins says a lot will be going on in the studio when we kick off the show in January. This set is going to be really versatile. We're going to be able to talk to live guests. We're going to be able to showcase new technology. We're even going to talk to stars live via satellite. And we're going to do it all while we're cooking up a great meal in the kitchen. A good meal in the kitchen. I'm not really much of a chef. The bottom line is it's very viewer friendly and it's really interactive. We'll also be cooking up more than just food every morning. We'll check in with TMZ for the latest Hollywood gossip and we'll have exclusive interviews with all the big stars like chef Gordon Ramsay, singer Paula Abdul and contestants from American Idol. <laughs> this is fun. It's different. And we're partnering with 92 Pro FM to give you the latest music news and trends. I think the project itself has been Terrific. I mean, how often do you get to launch a local show like this? It's going to be something really unique, really fun, terrific to watch, and I know our viewers are going to love it. And the road show will give viewers an opportunity to get in-depth coverage of many local popular events like the Chowder Festival and Water Fire, and will be interactive online. 
He might also like to watch our crews turn this mess into the brand new Roadshow Studio. Just log on to foxprovidence.com. We'll give you a behind the scenes look at the transformation of this studio with video and photo updates. For the Roadshow on Fox Providence, I'm Mike Montecalvo. <laughs> So a great studio, a big studio, but unfortunately only room for one of these guys. We're going to name the winner in just a moment. But before we do that, we went out and we asked our viewers, you know, what do you want to know from our five contestants here? And guys, what they wanted to know from you was in one word, what has this experience been like? So Stephen, I'm going to start with you. Yeah, I'm going to say unique. It was definitely unique. unique. Life changing. Humbling. It was growth. Communal. Communal. Interesting. <laughs> you guys always keep me on my toes. All right, so we are now going to go down from our five contestants to the top two. Are you guys ready? Okay. The first contestant to leave us this evening, Stephen. Stephen Schuler, I'm sorry, but you're off the road. Stephen, thanks so much. Thank you. From five to four, our next person to be released from the road show, Dan White. You are off the road. Dan, thank you. Up to our top three, and the next person to leave us tonight, Amy Diaz, you're off the road. I'm sorry. Thank you. So here we are down to our final two. Coming up next, we'll name the winner of the co-host spot on the road show. We'll be back. Province Warwick, bringing urban cool to the banks of the Patuxent River. Offering a menu that takes advantage of all our region has to offer. It's the perfect place for kicking back with friends or that someone special. Playful and a little bit naughty. The bar features a creative list of specialty cocktails and a terrific craft beer selection. The Terrace, our fabulous 3,000 square foot restaurant deck, overlooks the Patuxent River. The Loft is open for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and nightlife. The Loft at the new Nilo Hotel, 400 Night Street in Warwick. Peregrination. Peregrination. P E R E G R I. Seventy two percent of parents think their kids will get scholarships. And peregrination. That's why there's College Bound Fund, a smart, simple way for Rhode Island families to save for college. After 9-11, you responded. Hurricane Katrina, everyone responded again. Now relief is needed here. Ten-year-old Patrick Gannon has a plan to feed the hungry one family at a time. This Friday night, instead of a big dinner, make it cereal night. Use the money you saved on dinner to bring in non-perishable food to any Cardi's location for the Rhode Island Community Food Bank to help feed our neighbors in need. This Saturday from 10 to 2, bring non-perishable food to any Cardi's. Items needed are at Cardi's.com. And the winner of the contest to win a co-host spot on the Roadshow on Fox Providence is... Sean Tempesta. Oh. If for some reason Sean can't fulfill his duties, Anaritis would take the spot. Anaritis, thank you. Sean, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, the co-host of the Roadshow, Sean Tempesta. The crowd is...